Hello, Synthetic Programming here with another tutorial, this one on making really sick batch files. When you open up a batch file, one of the first things you look for is a really cool opening screen. If there's not one, it's not going to catch your attention. So what I'm going to do for you guys here is show you how to make a really cool one. So, here we got our at echo off opening statement, like usual with batch file programming. Color OA, you know I love the matrix. Title is Dragon Batch. Echo says Dragon Batch. So it's going to display a program called Dragon Batch and it says Dragon Batch right at the top. Can you guess what it's about? It's about dragons. And uh, what I got for you today is a cool little trick that will make any batch file look really amazing. Here's a website I found called text-image.com. So text-image.com lets you convert images in to characters that you can put into batch file codes. So if you go to convert and then go to the ASCII or the ASCII format, uh, it'll let you choose a character. Uh, sorry, an image. And I'm going to choose this this image called images, which is of a dragon. All I have to do after I've chosen that is hit convert, and boom, it's going to throw up that dragon for us. And it's really cool, it's all done in text. So what I'm going to do is control C, I'm going to copy that, and I can get rid of this. Now, in here, I'm going to paste that in. Look how cool that is. Just to be safe, and I know this might get a little people a little riled up, but I'm going to get rid of these last, you know, I'm probably going to get rid of this little, this little loop here at the bottom. And that's only because I really want to make sure that we get that Echo Dragon Batch in there. And so I'll get rid of that. Um, I'll also I'll hit enter, and down here I'm gonna write pause uh, null. And if you remember, this is gonna make instead of just pausing it and saying hit enter to continue, pause null is uh, it's gonna make it blank so that it doesn't give us a command to hit a button to continue. It's just gonna pause it so it doesn't just disappear when we open it up. Now, I wish it were as simple as just leaving this up, but you know we got to make it say what the, these characters are. we got to make the program display them. So we're going to hit echo. And uh, to make this a little simpier, control, uh, simpier, simpler, control C, control V. Control V, and we got to do this all the way down. And I know it's a little tedious, but it'll really it's it's worth it in the end you'll see because once you get all this said and you put all these echoes in I gotta say it's it's a real sight um, when I put one of these together earlier I was I was really amazed with the results it really made my day to see what this can do and uh, okay there we go we're done already so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit file we're gonna save it and uh, you remember if we hit save as, we can always do it as dragon.bat. We're going to save it to all files. Hit save. I already saved it earlier, but we're going to replace it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that and bring it up. Look at that. It pops up dragon batch. And then you've got this beautiful green on black dragon. Now, it looks a little funny if you really focus on the characters, but blow your eyes a little. Look at the shape. It's sick. It's awesome. And I really hope you guys have fun with this in the future. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, especially if you want to leave us a comment with a link to your cool batch file. We'd love to check them out, especially when the fans make sick ones like these. Okay, cool. So again, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.